The historic Facebook stock offering could be just days away now. And amid all the buzz, some are wondering if the social network is really worth $100 billion. Wall Street value. The big news today, General Motors announcing it is eliminating its advertising on Facebook. King Fi's Eric Logansson is live in our digital media center with a story which is new at 5.30. Eric. Well, guys, of course, Facebook's been very lucrative for folks like Mark Zuckerberg and on a much smaller level for regular people. We put out the question to folks on Facebook today, what's the best thing Facebook has ever done for you? And we got a whole bunch of answers. Among them, the folks at the Little Bit Therapeutic Writing Center out in Woodenville, $20,000 in donations since they went on board. Facebook is certainly the here and now. The question, though, is it the future? Those are so cute. Natalia Biner says Facebook changed the way she does business at her Belltown consignment boutique. She now spends more time updating her status than she does serving customers. But that's a good thing. And the ultimate in free advertising, absolutely. With 900 million users, Facebook is a cornucopia of contacts for business people, but can the company keep it going? I hope the future of Facebook is strong because for me, it's literally catapulted my business. Today, unsettling signs for Facebook. GM says it's pulling its advertising because it's not getting enough bang for its buck. And a CNBC poll now shows the majority of Facebook users not only don't click on the ads, but they don't trust the company with their privacy. With an initial public offering valued at more than $100 billion, that's nearly double what Boeing's worth. There are plenty of skeptics. At least we can see what Boeing sells. Facebook, not so much. They're going to need to raise more money per user. Tech writer Kevin Marks is a veteran of Google and Apple. He says Facebook's biggest problem is that with nearly one in seven people on the planet already a user, there isn't much room to grow. They can probably grow by a factor of four if they get onto every mobile phone in the world. Um, but that's about as much they can do by growing users, so they've got to actually grow interaction with those users. They've got to draw more of their time in. As for Natalia Biner, she just hopes the big business decisions made by Facebook will keep benefiting her small one. I intend on using Facebook from here on out for the future of my business. Kevin Marks says to see the future of Facebook, you might just want to look across the lake at Microsoft. No longer the overwhelmingly dominating world force that it was, but still a power to be reckoned with and will be for years to come. I'm Eric Wilkinson, live in the Digital, Music, Digital Media Center. Thanks, Eric.